Hey guys, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Short Track Landscape Pro. This is an 8.5 by 24. It's got a 14,000 pound GVW. We have a lot of these roll in and out and we never get pictures and videos. Saw this one today, so we're going to take a walk around it. I'll show you all the standard features as well as some of the options that this customer spec'd on this particular unit. So again, this is a 24 foot 14K. Our most common is going to be a 20 foot 10k so this has a little bit higher gvw we'll show you some of the additional features that come with it at that higher gvw so again on the landscape pro we're going to have the adjustable coupler and the 7k setback drop like jack it's got a sealed wiring harness it's got a plug holder it's got chain holders now one thing with short track when you go to these cargos they go to a more of like an equipment chain. That's not what you generally see on your lighter duty cargos. If you're not familiar with the drop leg jack, simply unclip that, inner leg will extend out, no need to carry around with blocks. Cast coupler up front here is adjustable, meets your varying heights. Notice that is a cast coupler as well, not a stamp coupler. Cast will again be a little bit heavier duty. Frame material on this is a six inch heavy wall, and it's a tube. Okay, up front you're going to notice a couple things short track on all their uh, car haulers going to use a three inch bottom trim notice they're using lags in their trim uh, a lot more lags take the time up front to uh, give you a miter instead of just a butt end that you sometimes see uh, give you the anodized aluminum corners bullet led lights and then you'll notice on the landscape pros they put the extra marker lights up front this is a 030 aluminum. Most in the industry are going to use a little thinner 024. This is a little thicker 030. Now, standard spec on Short Track would be a screwless, uh, over 10,000 pound GVW. Sometimes they do require, or sometimes customers prefer, having a screwed exterior. On the Landscape Pro, they do the RV style side door standard. And then again, on the Landscape Pro here, we've got the bar lock in addition to. So you've got the RV style paddle lock latch. Notice Short Track does use a Flexco made in the USA door hardware. I say that because this hardware tends to fit a lot better than some of the Chinese hardware. Also notice the door lock is metal, it's not plastic. All right, going down to the door holdback. Notice it's a aluminum holdback, not a plastic. Give you a nice face for the door. So again, this is 24 foot. It's gonna be six sheets of aluminum. So you should see six full sheets there. As it is over 10,000 GVW, reflector tape would be standard as well. On a 10K, you would not have reflector tape. It would be available as an option. So with a 14,000 GVW, of course, we're gonna jump up to a eight hole wheel. It's gonna be a 16 inch tire. 235 80 R16 10 ply radial tire. Now with the Landscape Pros, you are going to go to a torsion suspension. Going to the back, side flow through vents are standard. They'll give you cross ventilation inside the trailer, give it some uh, breathability. Again, the bullet LED lights are standard. Now coming to the back, one of the things on the Landscape Pro we like, they put all but a continuous hinge across the back. There's six full size hinges on there and they've all got grease zerts on them. Short Track does the rear bar lock standard. Again, it is the Indiana hardware, which is nice, but it's also the security protected hardware. Uh, somebody really wants into your trailer, unfortunately they're gonna get in, but they're gonna have to work a little harder uh, instead of being able to easily get into your, your uh, carriage head bolts. Uh, those, they would have to cut your bar lock first got uh, dual aluminum grab handles instead of a single plastic got the high output LED lights uh, notice a couple other little details they trim out the rear ramp door in aluminum makes it nice give you the bullet LED lights on this one this customers added the rollers which are available you can inch your vehicle forward without damaging your rear ramp door with those so on this, Short Track does a Super Duty Ramp standard. Uh, a few of the things would be the uh, extra hinges we talked about. I'll show you another one of the extra things that they do as well. They put the tread plate 
uh, transition on the end makes it nice you never got a certainly if you've been a landscaper long you probably experienced a uh, plywood flap extension coming off that needs fixed or replaced uh, they integrate this never got to worry about a flap extension it's very heavy duty gives you a nice thin transition you get down to about probably a half inch or less uh, transition there it is a treated plywood floor standard spec would be a 12 inch on center with a formed floor cross member this here on a 14k actually upgrades to a 2x4 box tube cross member very heavy duty floor this is actually heavier than what's on uh, a dump trailer very very stout floor so it's got some D rings. Now you can get these landscape pros with or without a beaver tail. It looks like this customer chose a four foot rear beaver tail. Again, you can get it with a two, a four, or without one. This one's got a three quarter by 12 inch kick plate around the perimeter. Standard spec on short track would be the three eighth plywood walls. And then they do the aluminum H mold interiors. Gives it a nice clean look. Trim it out at the top with trim instead of the one strips. They do a ceiling liner in these standards, a ceiling liner uh, called Thermocool. Uh, basically, it's got a reflective, thin piece of reflective insulation compressed on kind of like a white face cardboard type material. Gives it a nice clean look, also keeps it a little cooler. Keep in mind above that roof, you've got one piece aluminum. Uh, one piece aluminum is also going to stay a little bit cooler than what a Galvalume steel roof would be. So, also got some roof vents in here. There's one vent up front, one vent to the back. They are standard on the Landscape Pro. Also got a pair of dome lights. On the Landscape Pro, they do the 080 Cove with the round top roof. So you'll notice the Cove. A couple little details on Short Trek I like. Uh, where your transitions are for your roofing material. Uh, they put a little piece of flat there to make sure it doesn't come down. This may sound like a no-brainer, but a lot of manufacturers don't put that on there. Also where the wiring goes in and out of frame, they take the time to grom it. Uh, they also undercoat this particular trailer. The floor and ceiling are both undercoated. Many manufacturers will just do the base frame. This one, those roof bows are also undercoated. Roof bows and the sidewalls are all made out of box tube construction as well. No hat post or Z post. Gridiron uh, landscape hardware is used inside the trailer. That is standard equipment on the Landscape Pro. We do have a few different options for placement on that. Coming up to the side door, of course, with the RV style latch, you can lock it on the inside or the outside. And then you've got the switch for the dome lights. Standard in the Landscape Pro for 2019 is one shelf up front. This one's got two, so it has one added. Or you can also get a landscape basket in lieu of the shelves. Uh, we do generally order most of ours with the landscape basket, not the shelves. Shelves are nice. They put a rubber ATP on them. Now the Landscape Pro is a round front, but they've actually made a false wall here. So they've squared the wall off so it's flat up front. Again, it is a pressure treated floor. 12 inch centers would be standard. Again, a lot of feature upgrades with the uh, 14K that you get to make it a little more structural. Uh, again, they go to the tube floor cross members I'll show you in a second. They also do some X bracing underneath to keep the trailer nice and strong. Now, unfortunately, some of the benefits of Landscape Pro we can't show you. For instance, at the bottom of the corners and top corners, they put a nine by 14 gusset plate. To add strength to those areas on the 14k they also put x bracing in the wall which unfortunately i can't show you on this uh, also gusseting at the bottom of each of the wall cross members so let me crawl underneath here i'll show you what i can show you it's exposed so of course it is again undercoated underneath two by floor two by four floor cross members notice the x bracing it helps keep that uh, frame straight and they also put uh, perpendicular tubes running across the trailer. If you can see that far D ring, you also notice Short Track does a nice backer behind the D ring so it's not just fender washers bolted to the floor. And again, those are tube cross members. There's your torsion suspension. The back end of the trailer, 
Uh, they use a tube rear seal, not a form seal, which is important. And then here you also notice these outriggers that they use are also made out of tube. Many in the industry are gonna make them out of form. So again, that's the underside of your Landscape Pro. Now I didn't show you another key detail. Let me crawl back underneath here. They use a tube header where this trailer headers up, the triple tube tongue comes together. That's all reinforced and gusseted. Same thing over here, folks. Put all kinds of gusset plates on this. Many manufacturers will use a formed header there, which doesn't lend itself to giving a lot of strength. So they put a lot of time into thinking this trailer through. A lot of extra reinforcement, not typically found on your cargo trailers. These guys have a good group of engineers that design these and put them together. And these are offered in different sizes, eight and a half by 16 up through 24s. And I believe we can even go longer, but 24 is about the longest uh, the average guy's gonna go. 20 foot, 10,000 pound do seem to be the most common. Get a handful of colors to match your truck or to match your landscaping, uh, your landscape colors. If you have any questions, give us a ring, 717-220-4220. Or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.